Tonight, a Portsmouth family is calling for justice as they remember a 34-year-old father gunned down, police say, by one of his stepchildren. News 3 reporter Antoinette Delbell was at a vigil for Jamel Howell on the eve of the suspect's court case. Let justice prevail, O oh Lord. The pain still raw. Two years after Jamel Howell was shot and killed at his Portsmouth home, his stepson accused of pulling the trigger. He was my baby, my best friend. That's, I can't express that enough. We all miss him so much and hoping that we all could get through this together. The grief still weighing heavily on Jamel's 14-year-old daughter, Jakaya. She says she was close with her stepbrother, Jaquan Jones, who now faces charges for murder. I felt betrayed and because my dad really loved him as his stepson and made him actually feel like that was his actual son. Might be your child laying down in the ground. With the Portsmouth courthouse as a backdrop on the eve of Jones's hearing, Jamel's family is calling for justice. His mother still trying to process why the then 19 year old, who she says Jamel loved as his own, would want to take his life. God is going to handle that. That's between him and God. Family and friends coming together, praying and remembering the 34 year old as a devoted son and father of three kids and two stepchildren who was full of life. My dad was a very nice person. He cared for people. But they're going to remember him is with a smile. This can't be taken away. As Jamel's family tries to heal, they say they won't stop fighting until Jones is behind bars. All I want to say is that we're going to get justice soon for him. According to court records, Jones is currently out on bail. He's expected to go before a judge Wednesday with the trial set for later this week. In Portsmouth, Antoinette Delbell, News 3.